Svansky talked about just how good Joe Burrow is and the success the Browns have had against him. Extremely accurate, makes great decisions with the football, very athletic, uh, can make every throw, you know, runs their offense really well. I think they do a great job. Uh, Coach Taylor, Coach Callahan, what they're trying to do with him and that entire offense, I think they do a really nice job. And he's just very talented, can make plays uh, within the frame offense, can make plays off schedule. Really, really good player. Some of your best defensive games against him. Any idea as to as to why is it a matchup thing? Is it anything that is? Yeah, you know, you don't pick up where you left off. You don't start this game where the last game ended. It's uh, zero zero. Uh, they're going to have their guys ready to go. We have to have our guys ready to go. And Jackson, it's unfortunate you can't pick up where he left off because uh, Halloween night was pretty good at the end of that game. Yeah, it just seems like Joe Burrow has been able to dominate every team he's played against in the league except one, and that's the Cleveland Browns. And, yeah, you wish you could pick up right where we left off on Halloween night because the defense was rocking, uh, the offense was humming right along, putting like, the 32 points on the board, I think it was. But, yeah, I mean, it's just there's something about the Browns that Joe Burrow just does not like, and you can just tell right away. And it, and it could be Miles Garrett that Burrow mentioned in his press conference today that, that haunts him when he uh, steps toe-to-toe with the Browns. But, yeah, you just wish it was the same formula every time. But things change. Obviously, Jamar Chase is out there. He wasn't on Halloween night. But, yeah, the Browns just seem to have Burrow's number, and hopefully that trend continues on Sunday.